snowball chance. Ready, chance? Any more light? No. Oh. Oh. Was that his head or was that the ball? Lila, you cray. Lila, you're getting trampled. You're ruining it. Hey, Chance. You got it? Good afternoon. It's Saturday. We are on our way to... How funny would it be if your hand just appeared in that just now? Any waves? Would it? I don't know. We're on our way to VW in Sanford. And then we may be going to VW in Orlando later, depending on what we find in Sanford. So two weeks ago, we traded in my car for the Rogue, and now we're gonna be trading in Tino's car. Well, hopefully we'll be trading in his car today for another VW. Um, both of our vehicles we got five years ago, and both of our vehicles have been in major accidents. Six so, years. oh, six years ago, 2009, wow. So we're ready to trade them in and you know start something new. Normally we wouldn't trade in both cars at the same time like that because it is quite, you know, a cost incur and, you know, a hit credit hit. But since we do it individually, it's not that big of a deal. And also, like I said, both of our vehicles have been in major accidents, so they're, they're ready to go. on the back of a golf cart, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's fun. They're taking us to the cars because it's not near the actual entrance. still here at BW in Orlando. It's actually in Sanford. There's there's like a crap ton of VWs here. We're in the Napleton Sanford office and we are waiting because they're trying to find the car that I want. <laughs> so funny story, I wanted the Rogue. We traded my car for the Rogue, but I don't drive the Rogue. The VW gets better gas. So that's why I've been driving the VW because I have the 70 mile round trip each day to work makes perfect sense. I should drive the most fuel efficient. Well, anyway, we're here to look at a Passat. Trade in the Jetta for the Passat. It's a slightly bigger car. You know, be good for like having kids in the future. And uh, I don't like it. <laughs> um, the Jettas have like a bigger hump over the front and I can't see over it. Like even when the seat's all pumped up as high as it can go, it still is completely blocking my vision. I'm pretty sure I'm five even, and so it was like really hard for me to see and I didn't like it. And there, the technology in the car just was not like that great. It wasn't, it wasn't anything spectacular and it was like the premium version of the, the Passat. And then we just happened to be driving by a bunch of Golf GTIs and TDIs and so then we stopped because I kind of have always liked the Golfs since we've been talking about trading our cars about a year ago. So now, we're looking at a Golf TDI SEL, but I guess SELs are like hard to find. So they are on a hunt to find one in other dealerships and there happens to be a blue one, like about, how, how many minutes? You think like 20 minutes from here? About 20 minutes from here. And so they're gonna try and see if they can get the car for us so that we can check that out. I already test drove the Golf and I love it. And it's kind of funny because we literally came here to get a bigger vehicle and we're actually getting like a smaller like mini hatchback vehicle, which is kind of funny. But I do love the hatchback. Well, it's a big hatchback, but it's not the sports wagon. It's the, the Golf hatchback and it is a four door, so. We shall see. Um, if I get a car, you guys will see it. If we don't, then uh, we go home. This is cool. They're driving one of the cars out of this 
out of the lobby. Oh no, they're just moving in. Oh man, I was, I was, I know, I was hoping you were gonna like drive it out. <laughs> oh, I guess they're they're driving out. It's, oh, did somebody buy it? Oh, I guess somebody. Oh man, someone someone picked the car in the lobby to drive or to buy. The only S model stick shift. Oh yeah. Crazy. Ah, uh, so I guess they're taking the golf out. Somebody either purchased it or is gonna test drive it. I don't know why they picked the one that was in the showroom to test drive because there's tons of them in the parking lot. By the way, that's a golf. Oh, and we're gonna be buying a golf. Oh, it's not out there anymore, but we're getting a black one with a black interior. There just happened to be one in the lot. <laughs> First, they thought they didn't have an SEL available on, on the spot, but apparently they did, and they just like didn't know about it because it wasn't showing up in their database. Not sure how they got it. Um, so we're gonna get that. So I'll show you that when we head out, and then uh, we'll go. The last time I, I didn't do that with the rogue last time because we were in a hurry to leave. We we're already running super late, but this time, like, other than you know wanting to just leave because we've been here for four hours. Uh, we're not really in a hurry to get anywhere other than get food because we're hungry. There it is. There's a new car. They're going and checking it out. They just did a detail on it. So Tino and the car salesman are looking at it while I'm watching all of our stuff because we're filling out all the paperwork so we can take it home. It's super cute. I love it. I'm excited. I'm the one who's going to drive it because Tino took the Rogue even though I wanted the Rogue. I'm going to keep saying that but that's okay because um, I picked the Golf because he actually wanted a Passat but I really didn't like it. The Golf is like way cuter. I like it and it has a really awesome trunk space so yup yup. It's our new car! Look it's a little Golf TDI. We're waiting for the keys to our old car so we can transfer stuff to the new car and then I can vlog inside the car and right now you're just getting a bunch of reflections so but yay, super excited. Check it out guys, we're in the new car. This is so cool. Oh, you can't even see it, it's like so shiny. It's the nav screen. There you go, you can see it. Now that I put my finger there. And it's got these um, two-toned seats. It's all leather. And we do have a sunroof, it's got nav. It's actually got this car net, which is like, um, it's like an OnStar. And then it's got an eyeglass holder. I already got the little clickers in there. Got all our lights. It's super fancy schmancy. So, like, I don't know, five, six hours later. I don't, you know, I don't actually know when we got there, but. 1 30. And it's. We left at like 8. We left at 8. <laughs> Six and a half hours, is that right? Six and a half hours, and we are now finally on our way home. I'm super excited. Um, when Tino talked about it a while ago, I wanted to golf, and look, we gotta go. And it's leather, that was like the concern, like the biggest reason why we weren't gonna get a golf. Like a year ago when we originally started talking, having this discussion was because um, at the time, the 2014s, the Golfs didn't come with leather unless you got the GTI. And we wanted a TDI, the turbo diesel. So um, it's really cool that they come in leather. We didn't know until we got there. So, you know, kind of, I feel bad because, because we did this shift from looking at a Passat to a Golf and then trying to find the Golf, um, that's where a lot of our time was lost. So, bummer, can't do anything about it. Hopefully our dogs are but we're on our way home and it's funny because we're taking like this weird back route because we don't have a toll pass anymore and we're really freaking far away from the house and normally we take toll roads whenever we go through Orlando but that's not really an option so we're taking this like back road woodsy drive to get to the highway. Scenic route. The scenic route. 25 miles. 25 miles of trees. At least it's pretty. Most places are usually like flat and dead and marshland. Good morning. It's so cool walking into the garage and uh, 
seeing two brand spanking new vehicles. The Rogue is now two weeks old as of today. And then our VW uh, Golf is a day old. So I'm going to be driving this one. Tina's going to continue to drive the Rogue. And we may actually alternate each week because technically he loves the VW. And I love the Rogue. And, but you know what? We actually both love both cars a lot. Um, they're both pretty impressive. And this is so cool. I love this two-tone I got going on here. Okay, um, I'm in here because I need to get the registration out of the car because I got to change the insurance, but I figured I'd do a quick uh, looky-loo. But yeah, both cars still smell nice and new. Let's see how long that lasts. Hey guys, so I am on my way to church. This is the 11 o'clock mass, so I am going twice today. Um, and then afterwards, I am going to go get some groceries and I'm going to stop and get Chipotle. Chipotle is not on the diet, but I have been craving Chipotle. Like, you have no idea. Oh, crap. I was going to go and stop at Walmart and return the blankets that I bought. The wrong, sh the wrong black full sheets. Okay, this guy not realize that there's two lanes here and uh, I completely forgot it at home epic freaking fail guys like super fail ha USPS is actually delivering mail on Sunday and it's full of Amazon Prime packages you know how I know because it's got the Amazon Prime tape wrapped around it that's awesome first of all I didn't know that the post office delivered on Sundays I have received packages on Sundays but I guess I assume they were from UPS um, but that's awesome. I love Amazon Prime. I'm addicted. If you guys haven't checked out Amazon Prime, you should. There's like a 30 day trial period. You can check it out. You get free two day shipping. You get, they have Amazon Prime movies that you can stream. They also have Amazon Prime books that you can rent for free if you have a Kindle. Um, there's a bunch of really awesome stuff and everything on Amazon is always so much better price and the fact that it's two day shipping just like blows my mind like I love it addicted to it yeah anyway so if I find the 30 day trial thing I'll link it down below it is more than likely going to be an affiliate link because I am an affiliate with Amazon um, I you anybody can be an affiliate you don't have to be a prime member to be an affiliate like literally anybody can be an affiliate but yeah anyway I'm in the Rogue today. What? Yes, it is happening. I am in the Rogue today. Hey guys, um, so I went to Chipotle. So, so church is done and now I'm back on my way to church. <laughs> uh, church ended and then I went straight to Chipotle. Chipotle was a madhouse. And then when I got home, it was already pretty late because Chipotle took forever. And I really, really, really needed to get home and film because I just recreated a JLo Back It Up tutorial from the Prince Roy song Back It Up featuring Pitbull and JLo. And if it looks like I'm shiny and sweating, it's because I am shiny and I am sweating a lot. I'm actually, I have like, I can see drops on my nose. There are literal drops on my nose. Ugh. I'm like sweating so bad. First of all, it got really hot in the beauty room and then I had to leave. I'm already 15 minutes late to practice for mass. Good morning, it's Monday. Um, I did not vlog last night. After church, we went over and had dinner at a friend's house and then I edited a little bit, but I didn't finish the video like I had wanted to, so I'm super crazy sad face. However, these are curls from yesterday. I slept on this. And it's still going strong. I'm pretty darn impressed about it. Like, ridiculously impressed by it. Because normally my hair doesn't last at all. It's usually dead by the end of the day. And then if I sleep on it, it ends up being just like really weird waves the next day. So I either have to wash it, I have to flat iron it, or I have to curl it again. Like, I can't leave it the way it is because it always ends up looking terrible. Nope, woke up like this. Anyway, so I am super excited about my hair. I'm definitely going to do a tutorial on it because I think it's super important because with my short hair, I've had difficulty curling it with a curling wand and even with a regular flat iron and even with a regular clip curling iron, like I've been having a lot of problems and so I found a great way to do it. So I'm going to do a tutorial. I'll film it next Friday. 
super excited next Friday, this Friday. And anyway, I'm in the Volkswagen. So I'll be honest, I love driving both vehicles. Um, I like I like that they're both new. They both still have the new car smell. Um, they both drive really nice because neither of them. Yeah, I don't know. They just drive really nice. Um, driving a new vehicle is so much better than driving the same old one. And the last two vehicles both were had accidents, so they just were not functioning the way that I wish they had when we first got them. But you know, it is what it is. I'm super excited. I'm loving the two new cars. And I'll actually get into work before 9, which is rare. I usually get in between 9.30 and 10. So I'm pretty excited about it. I didn't work out this morning. I think I'm going to just start working out in the evenings when it allows me to get to work early. And it gives me motivation to get to work early because the later I get home, the later I work out. So um, it's good because I don't like getting up early to work out. Plus, I'm already tired in the morning. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, I will have this vlog up on Wednesday. That is my goal. I'm going to try to do that from now on. I want to start posting Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Mondays will more than likely be... Mondays and Fridays will more than likely be like tutorials and reviews and hauls and things like that. And Wednesdays will also be vlog day. So, yay! I will talk to you guys later. Hope you guys have a good week.